Hello again. Quick video for you today on appearances inside Inventor. So you've spent an exorbitant number of hours on a on a beautiful model inside Inventor and now you want to produce a flashy screenshot. Um, but you've got the problem like we've got here, perhaps some bricks or wood grain and the textures are not aligned. So since Inventor 2013 it's been much easier to sort this kind of thing out for a screenshot. So let's uh, let's dive right in. So I'm going to double click on the part that's got the the issue so that I'm editing it and then I'm going to use the tools uh, adjust appearances command so um, there's there's plenty of information out there on, online for this but uh, all I'm going to do is pick this face um, and initially I get um, a couple of little glyphs here this one will scale the bricks which I'm not going to do because I don't want to scale them and this one will rotate so if I drag that round to 90 degrees, that's now in the right orientation. It's not quite aligned, so actually it does look like I need to scale it a little bit for some strange reason. So if I scale that up, then I've created another problem for myself once I'm pretty sure that it's the right scale. I don't have the ability in here to translate. I can't drag these arrows. So I'm going to accept this. And now I need to actually translate that texture. And you can see down here, I've got the same issue. These bricks don't line up. So I look like an amateur. So this isn't, I take no credit for this. That's uh, Mr. David Gate. Thank you very much. What, uh, what we can do now is I can go to the view tab and I, ch I can change to a visual style of realistic. So if I do that, the model doesn't appear to change much. But now what I can do is get extra glyphs when I uh, am using the adjust tool. So if I go into tools and adjust now and pick this face first off, I now get these, uh, uh, this ability here to, in addition to rotation and scaling, to actually translate it. So if I drag this, I can translate that way. So I want that to be somewhere like there. And if I drag this one, I can actually move it up and down, so I want it somewhere like there, for instance. Okay, that one looks pretty good, so I'm going to hit plus. This one might be a little bit more of an issue up here, but we'll give it a shot. So I'll pick this one here, and let's try and translate that. I see I need to scale it as well, so I'm going to scale that up, because that's currently too small. That's... Right, that is close enough for me, so I'm going to say OK to that. And then I'm going to return up to the top level. And I'm ready to produce my nice render now. So I'm going to just get in the kind of view that I want. And let's hit the render button. Wonderful. So the problem I've got now is if I uh, disable rendering here, if I go back to the visual style of shaded with edges at any point, then the texture reverts back to its previous. So it only keeps that translation of the texture in a realistic visual style. So that's okay. You just need to take your screenshots in realistic. Or in fact, you can probably work in realistic some of the time. Okay, I hope this helps a lot. Thanks very much.